Hello everyone! In this video, I'll talk about what a multi-link suspension on VAG cars is, how much it costs and what to expect when buying such a car. Let's take my Audi A6 C5 as an example and see how much I would have to pay if I decide to replace the control arms and bushings in the front and rear suspension. It's worth noting that regardless of which VAGI car you buy after the year 2000, each model will have aluminum control arms. So, if you decide to drive such cars, you should be aware that repairs will be necessary. Now, let's take a closer look at the front and rear suspension how much the control arms cost, what condition they are in, and how much their replacement will be. Let's start with the front suspension by going under the car and taking a closer look. The aluminum suspension consists of two lower control arms. Here's one and here's the second control arm, the largest control arm which also holds the shock absorber and stabilizer bar link is the main one and according to TRW catalogs it costs $65. Next is the second lower control arm also called the boomerang which acts as a guide and costs around $69. Below, there's the aluminum stabilizer bar link, which is small in size and costs approximately $18. Now, let's look at the upper control arms. We have two upper arms as well, the upper front and rear. And don't forget about the tie rod end. The upper front control arm will cost $35, while the upper rear control arm is around $33. The tie rod end is $22. I'm providing prices from the TRW company, as it is used in original parts. Now let's calculate the entire front suspension for both wheels. This includes the lower control arm, lower guide control arm, the two upper control arms, plus the stabilizer bar link and tie rod end. In total, the TRW control arms will cost approximately $484. So, if you want to install a good suspension, you'll have to pay around $500 just for the parts. Replacing only one control arm doesn't make sense because if one fails, it affects the others. That's why control arm sets are sold. It's cheaper and easier to maintain the suspension. Now let's look at the rear suspension of my car. Since mine is a front wheel drive car, there's a beam at the back that attaches to the body through support brackets. It's also worth mentioning that these support brackets are aluminum and consist of a single bushing. I've already had to replace these support brackets, each of which costs $50. However, I wanted to save money and installed a Chinese control arm for $30. As you can see, they're starting to wear out and I think I'll have to replace them again soon. In a front-wheel drive car, there are no other control arms at the rear. You can also buy special covers for these support brackets to prevent water and dirt from getting on them. In conclusion, the suspension in these cars is expensive. You'll spend around $500 for front control arms if you go for Lemforder or TRW and about $100 for the two rear support brackets. In total, you'll need to spend around $600 every 50,000 miles. I've covered everything I wanted to share. Soon, I'll make a video where I'll be replacing the entire front suspension. Until then, goodbye.